uh, you know, when I toured with Frank Sinatra, one of the things I did, wherever we were, once a week, I took him out to dinner. I picked up the tab, took him out to dinner because I flew in his private jet. I stayed in his home. Frank, you wanted for nothing. He, he, and he, I, I'm sure he respected me for doing that, but he didn't want me to pick up the check. But I made sure that wherever we were, once a week, I took him out to dinner. He could bring whoever he wanted, you know, Barbara and uh, anybody in the family or, or, or uh, Jilly, his buddy, you know. So uh, the one time in Chicago, there was a restaurant called Doro's. A friend of mine, Sam DiStefano, who used to book the Playboy clubs in Chicago, had part interest in. He said, Tommy, you think you could get Frank Sinatra to come there? So I took Frank Sinatra there that night, and I was only with him that time about eight months. We, were, we just did the Erie Crown Theater, and we were on our way to Milwaukee to work in Milwaukee. So while we're having dinner, he had about eight people there. And I, again, I'm all new, and I'm just sitting there. And we were talking about a film that I had done, and Frank said, well, you shouldn't have done that. What you should have done is you go to the director and you tell him such and such. I said, well, I, I couldn't do that. Why couldn't you do that? I said, well, I'm, I'm not a star. You know, you're a star. He said, you're a star. I said, no, I'm not a star. You know, you're, I said, thanks, but you're a star. He said, well, you're a star in my eyes. I said, well, that's nice, but you know what I'm talking about. There's a certain power a star has. He said, Tommy, you've got power because you've got my power. And the whole table got real quiet. I'd only been with him a short time. And look, he said, you ever need anything, you call me. He said to Barbara, if Tommy calls, I want to know. And it got real quiet at the table. And it's an old Sicilian thing. I said to him, well, if Barbara tells you I'm on the phone, sit down, because I'm not going to ask you for two tickets to the Engelbert Humperdinck show. <laughs> and he cracked up because he knew. See, it's a Sicilian thing. If, if a man of power ever says, I'm going to do something for you, don't waste that on some bullshit. Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> so he always remembered that. I said, sit down in a chair because I ain't going to ask you for two tickets to the Engelbert Humperdinck show. <laughs>